welcome to our very first session of our virtual open week this week. My name is Daisy and I am the student services supervisor here at the college and I'm joined today by MST's enrollment coordinator Iona. We are delighted that you've joined us today to learn a little bit more about MST in Eastern and what is on offer here at the colleges. At the end of the session, we'll be having a time for questions. So please put any queries that you have in the Q&A box on your screen. Uh, we'll be covering a lot in uh, a short time in this info session this morning. So if your questions aren't answered, we'd encourage you also to click on the link in the chat and online to book an appointment with one of us uh, because we'd be delighted to chat with you over the phone uh, through study options specifically uh, for you. So uh, before I continue, just a couple of other things this morning. Uh, firstly, the session is being recorded. Uh, we will also be putting some helpful links in the chat as we go along. So please keep an eye out uh, for those as well. Well, you've probably joined us today because you're considering study at either Melbourne School of Theology or Eastern College Australia. We are two colleges, but one community. Um, we'll continue to unpack that this morning. Uh, it is such a unique opportunity we have as sharing a campus here in Montana in Melbourne. It's important to start with what unites us, and that is the vision to train and equip Christians for life and ministry, whatever role they play. From church ministry to mission, leadership, counselling, maybe as a teacher or business leader, or the great hope of wanting to know God and his scriptures in a deeper way. This looks a little different for each of the colleges uh, within the course offerings, which we'll also uh, explore this morning. A little bit about our history. Our history is a big part of who we are. And for MST, this year is 100 years of teaching in Bible, theology and mission. And you may recognize some previous names, MBI, Melbourne Bible Institute and BCV, Bible College of Victoria. And then Easton has been around for about 30 years and was previously known as Tabor Victoria. With roots in Bible and theology, Easton's focus is now training for vocations such as teaching, counselling and chaplaincy from a Christian worldview and biblical foundation. Both are non-denominational colleges and this produces a great opportunity for deeper faith, um, sharper minds and really rich uh, community and creativity that is needed for us uh, to change the world and impact the kingdom of God. These two colleges do really create an incredible uh, community for unique study opportunities. And you'll find that some of the faculty teach across both of the colleges as well. Uh, there's also opportunity for some cross-institutional study as well for some of the courses, which is really great. And there are links in the chat to a little bit more about the history and the focus of MST in Eastern. So if you'd like to read those, um, feel free to check out the links later on as well. I'm going to hand over to Iona now. He's going to cover a little bit about what student life looks like studying with us. Thanks, Iona. Uh, thanks, Daisy. Hi, my name's Iona Krizratsky, and I am the enrollment coordinator for MST. I too started out as a student back in 2011 and completed a Bachelor of Theology here at MST before starting in my role. So I can certainly speak not only with knowledge of our college but also from personal experience as well. The student life here at MST and Easton is rich and diverse. As Daisy mentioned, we have students from many different cultural and denominational backgrounds scattered all over Australia and the world. Students can study both online from anywhere in the world, as well as on campus right here in Melbourne at our Wontana campus, which provides a convenient location in the heart of Eastern suburbs of Melbourne. And many facilities available, on-site parking, which is amazing, <laughs> views overlooking farm fields, spacious facilities for classes, community events, chapel services, conferences, seminars, and much more. 
So it's a great place as a student to study. Let's watch now watch a short video that gives you a little insight into the on-campus and library facilities that we have here at in Montana campus. All MST and Eastern students, whether studying online or on campus, are encouraged to make full use of the facilities once the restrictions have been lifted here in Melbourne, of course. <laughs> uh, and our friendly staff and faculty are always welcoming of all students to come and say hello and make themselves at home. So Daisy's now going to show us a short video so you can get a bit of a glimpse of what the Montana campus looks like. Excellent. That's fantastic. It's a, a great reminder of the physical facilities that we have, even though in Melbourne we're still in lockdown. It's a great capture of what we have to look forward to in the future once we're able to return to on-campus learning. But even in that, with our great on-campus facilities, the fantastic flexibility about both MST and Eastern that students can study full-time or part-time, they can be studying on campus, but also we have full online comprehensive learning as well. Um, we have day classes, night classes, intensive options available. And between our two colleges, we offer courses right from vet level certificates, so TAFE equivalent, all the way through to higher education diplomas, bachelor degrees, masters and doctoral awards. One of the testimonies our students have is that compared to other much larger universities, the thing they love about MST and Eastern is the community culture, not only amongst the students, but between students and faculty as well. Most lectures commence in prayer, whether online or on campus and faculty are constantly checking in with their students to make sure they are tracking okay and understanding their classes and the content. We also have student support workers available for all students, whether on campus or online. And uh, our student support worker, Sue, has qualifications in spiritual direction and is available to meet with students for pastoral and personal needs. So this culture is makes a real difference and gives a students a unique experience with us here at MST in Easton. MST in particular has a long history of equipping students for missions and serving cross-culturally and that is certainly something we are very intentional in continuing to build upon at MST today with mission conferences and seminars as well as the recently developed Centre for Missional Leadership and other centres as well that have been uh, developed over the last few years, including the uh, Arthur Jeffrey Centre for the Study of Islam. And we'll be talking about that a little bit later on. Our principal, Tim Myers, is also passionate to continue to build the missional focus of Eastern as well, who have a significant teaching impact in training leaders in developing countries overseas, but also equipping Christians to be effective witnesses in the marketplace here in Australia, uh, which is becoming an ever increasing place uh, 
often of hostility to Christians, to Christian voices and values. So to be able to equip Christian teachers, Christian counsellors, Christian care workers is an incredible opportunity we have here as well to do that. Um, as seen as in the video, we have a dedicated space to gather together as well once a week on campus for chapel service. And we're also doing that online with our online learning students at the moment, where we can worship God together and keep that as a focus of our learning experience as well. Hearing teaching from our principal and other faculty as well. I hope that gives you a glimpse into student life and the culture here at MST and Eastern. So if you have any questions, please post them in the Q&A chat box and we'll be more than happy to answer those at the end. Back to you, Daisy. Awesome. Thanks, Iona. Well, a practical question that you're all probably wondering is what is the application process? So I'm just going to share my screen here again with you. Okay. Yeah, so the application process. So on the slide, you'll see the basic application process to study at either MST or Eastern. Uh, the first step is to submit an application online. Uh, these applications are found on either websites by clicking any of the apply now buttons. Uh, there's also some documentation required alongside your application. So this will include things like transcripts from previous studies, pastoral references uh, and some ID as well. Uh, so once you've received your application and your documents, uh, you'll have a new student interview and an opportunity to chat with one of our faculty. So after you've completed all those steps, uh, when your application has been approved, you receive an official letter of offer and acceptance. And all you need to do is uh, confirm and accept that acceptance into your course of study. Uh, from there, it's just a matter of selecting your units and enrolling in them. We also have an orientation at the beginning of each semester uh, for you to attend and be informed about getting started on your study journey uh, with us. A note for school leavers as well, if you're in school uh, and looking at um, moving into higher ed study next year, there's no need to apply uh, to MST or Eastern through VTAC. You can uh, apply directly to us online through our websites. Uh, and for those of you as well in school that are aware of the CASPA test, uh, you'll be glad to know that there's no CASPA test uh, required when studying uh, applying to study uh, with us. Now, please know that you don't need to remember all of this information today. It's a lot of steps and, and a big step when coming to study. So once you've submitted your application, we'll email you with what's required. Uh, Iona and I, or I will be in touch with you throughout the whole process and be here to help uh, you through that as well. So we move to the next slide. Uh, you'll see there are two intakes, uh, two general intakes per year, one at the beginning of the year and one mid-year. So applications for our next intake will close at the end of January next year and our semester one is planned to commence on the 15th of February. Uh, now a note on fees as well. Uh, we do have fee help available for all of our courses, all of our higher ed courses uh, for eligible students. So that's diploma and upwards uh, courses, there's fee help available. There is unfortunately no fee help available for certificate courses, that's our VET courses, uh, but there are payment plans available and students are invoiced simply each semester for their units that they're enrolled in. Uh, so you don't need to pay for the whole course upfront anyway. It's really great as well that we're able to offer some of these VET courses. Uh, they're significantly cheaper uh, and very affordable um, when looking at different courses of study. So please don't let that uh, deter you as well. Some of the VET courses as well, including our chaplaincy course, have uh, VIC skills funding available. And I'd be happy to chat with you more about that if you're interested in that. Course. Uh, so yeah, as we've mentioned throughout the, um, the time today, please uh, feel free to book an appointment. We'd love to chat with you about those specifics that relate to you as well. 
And now you also may be eligible for us Aus study or Centrelink payments uh, if studying full time. Uh, another great thing is for our education courses, so our Bachelor of Education and Master of Teaching, we have Commonwealth supported places available, which is a further government subsidy. Uh, so some really great uh, opportunities in terms of investing in studies there. So please see the link uh, in the chat. We've put uh, links to both the MST and the Eastern fee schedules and pages on the website. If you wanted to le uh, read a little bit more information about those. Uh, so we're going to now look at some MST and Eastern distinctives and course offerings. So I'm going to hand it back to Iona now. Great. Thanks, Daisy. All right. Well, let me share a little bit about MST and specifically for those who are looking at MST. Many of you may be wondering why MST? What sets MST apart from other Bible colleges? Well, that's a great question and certainly one that was on my mind when I was deciding where to go to study as well. While MST celebrates working alongside many Bible colleges in Melbourne, some of the things that make MST distinctive are the following. Firstly, we're affiliated with and accredited by the Australian College of Theology, which is a consortium of 16 colleges all over Australia. The ACT are therefore one of the largest theological colleges in Australia and are renowned for thorough theological training and high academic standards. We love being a part of the ACT. While they set this great standard, we still have the freedom to be able to focus on key areas of training, academics and other things as well. MST is non-denominational. This means that while we adhere to a theological position that is evangelical, it encompasses many different people from different denominations, from Anglican to Presbyterian, Baptist, Pentecostal, non-denominational, Church of Christ, just to name a few. The blessing of this means that you'll be participating in a class with students and faculty from different church traditions and will be encouraged to learn from each other and engage in healthy discussions. Such an incredible asset to be further equipped for serving the Lord in our world, in our churches and our missions. We have also have a number of specialised centres for training. These include the Centre for Theology and Psychology, which has just been established this year. We also have a an Arthur Jeffrey Centre as well, which focuses on uh, understanding Islam from a Christian perspective and further equipping Christians to better share their faith and understand Islam in a way to better engage, um, pastorally care for and um, be equipped to share our faith and the love of Christ well as well. We also have a centre for missional engagement, which is being developed as well uh, and will be launched later in the year. So keep an eye out for that on our website. The last thing is community culture. Uh, here at MST and Eastern, for students on and off campus, the community culture is really unique. We are passionate about students connecting with each other and forming strong friendships that last well into the future. And this is something that our principal in particular is very passionate about, that the students that you meet in the classroom, either virtually or on campus, uh, form such an aspect of your uh, tr transformation and training here at MST. In regards to the specifics of what we offer at MST, let me talk through the different courses available to you and study options. So at MST, you're able to complete entry-level diplomas through the full bachelor degrees. And then for those who have completed university studies already, we offer graduate diplomas and master's degrees, as well as those with theological qualifications already, the option to head into higher degree by research awards, such as the Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Ministry and Doctor of Theology. All of our courses have core units in Bible and theology, 
And then we ha also have an extensive list of elective areas to focus your course on, including pastoral care and leadership through to apologetics, systematic theology, spirituality, missions, and much more. Our courses range from one year diplomas through to two to three year degrees at both undergraduate and master's levels. All of our courses can be completed either full-time or part-time and either on campus or online. So it's very flexible. Many students are also still discerning where the Lord may be leading them when they start at MST. So if this is you, know that you're in good company. <laughs> Often we find that preparation through study is a key foundation to help discern where the Lord is preparing to lead you. I highly encourage each of you considering studies at MST to make an appointment with me personally by clicking on the link in the chat and booking in a time to talk one-on-one -on -one with myself about your personal questions and study options in order for us to cater to your specific situation and plans for the future. Over to you, Daisy. Awesome. Thanks, Iona, for sharing with us about uh, the MST course options. Uh, and I love how there's such a contrast in the sense that through this unique two college community, while the values and the core are the same, uh, the course focuses uh, have their differences and is such a joy to champion one another as something we should all do as a part of the body of Christ. So uh, now I'm going to cover some of the Eastern uh, course specifics. So perhaps you're specifically wondering, why should I do my study to become a teacher or a counsellor? Uh, for example, from a Christian perspective, why just not go to some other uni? Well, the value of this is not only so that you can have the opportunity to dive into scripture uh, while also doing a degree to be qualified and work in a Christian setting, but also to represent Christ in everyday life, whether that's public schools, in the business world or other secular environments. We pray that students would be prepared uh, to be thoughtful and faith-filled uh, and to have significant impact on the context that God has called and specifically gifted them to. So as Iona mentioned, another layer to that is the safe community to learn. There is, you'll find there are smaller class sizes where you aren't just another number sitting in a seat in a big lecture hall, but the lecturer knows who you are, they know where you're at, um, and is passionate about seeing you grow and supporting you through uh, your studies. So some Eastern focus areas. Firstly is VET, which you've heard us talking about a little bit already this morning. So VET isn't looking after animals, uh, but it stands for Vocational Education and Training, uh, which is those certificate TAFE type courses. So you can see uh, the certificate course options on the slide and two of them I'd like to focus on this morning are our certificate for in chaplaincy and pastoral care and the certificate for in Christian ministry and theology. So if you're interested in a little bit more in the Christian ministry and theology we do have a webinar on Thursday afternoon on how internships can help grow your church and that has this particular focus on this course and its practical uh, elements required within the course. And that will be run by the course coordinator and our vice principal academic. So uh, one to, to keep an eye out for if you're interested in that. So both of those courses are a minimum of one year, but can also be studied part-time uh, over a couple of years as well. So a couple of things about our vocational courses, as mentioned earlier, they are very cost effective uh, and they're practical courses. If you're a hands-on learner in both learning and assessment, you'll find that there's placement involved in the courses, hands-on assessments, no big essays or exams. So if you're new to tertiary study, uh, this is a really, really great place to start. Uh, and then there's the opportunity to step into further uh, future studies as well at either MST or Eastern after completing uh, some of those certificate uh, level degrees. And uh, they're all nationally accredited uh, courses as well. So it's a little bit about our VET 
courses. So again, if you've got any questions, please pop them into the chat box. You've been a little bit quiet in there. So if you've got questions, please, please uh, feel free to put them in there. The second area I'd like to focus on is our higher education area. So as you'll see on the slide again, there's a number of courses uh, available in this area. So one of our focus is initial teacher training. So that's our Bachelor of Education or Master of Teaching if you've already previously completed an undergraduate degree in another area. And they can focus in either primary or secondary teaching. And these courses cover all uh, uh, VIT registration requirements. So after completing these courses, uh, you would be qualified to be a teacher uh, here in Victoria. Uh, now, in terms of counselling, we also have counselling courses available for you to then become a registered counsellor in Australia. And these courses are either our undergraduate degree, which is a Bachelor of Applied Social Science with a focus in counselling, uh, which also has a number of Christian Foundation core units uh, and our Master of Community Counselling uh, covers registration as well. And that's a great course if you do have a little bit of experience or study in an area such as psychology or counselling already. A few other of the courses are our arts courses, so the Diploma, Graduate Certificate and Graduate Diplomas. Now, these are really great stepping stone and foundational courses that can have a number of different specialisations of focus and can also be a great pathway into other courses such as our Bachelor of Education uh, if, for example, you didn't receive the ATAR score that you uh, required for the Bachelor of Education, the Diploma of Arts is a really great pathway. Uh, or if you're not really sure what you want to focus on, it's a really great um, stepping stone of courses that have flexibility in their electives and, and study options uh, to kind of create your study pathway. And then lastly, uh, moving on to our professionally based master's degree. So the Master of Education for those that uh, already have teaching degrees and are teachers, our Master of Community Counselling, as I already mentioned. And we also have a Master of Transformational Development, which is an aid in development uh, and theology uh, focused degree. So I'll uh, stop sharing my screen there now. Uh, so if you're unsure whether to do Bible college and then a counselling degree or a teaching degree or the other way around, you can do both. So most degrees at Eastern have required Christian Foundation core units uh, in foundational Bible and theology and all the, t all the classes as well are taught from a Christian worldview. And as we mentioned earlier, there's a number of courses that uh, have possibilities for cross-institutional study with MST, um, of course, subject to your individual courses and that kind of thing. Um, but as you can see, there's a myriad and, and mountain of course options at both MST and Eastern. And we understand it can be a little bit overwhelming with different course lengths and entry requirements and, and all these different uh, things to consider when coming to study. So uh, you can view individual course pages on our websites for the, that specific information when it comes to entry requirements, what's involved in the courses at both MST and Eastern. So I believe those links are in the chat as well. So you can uh, do that uh, at a later time as well. Again, we'd encourage you to book an appointment with us. We'd love to chat with you one-on-one -on -one about your specific study options, uh, specifically if your questions haven't been answered today. So uh, now we have a, a, about 10 or 15 minutes for some questions. So we'll take it in turn. We're going to have a bit of a conversation uh, now. So I'll hand it to Iona to kind of kick us off. Great, excellent. Okay, so we've had um, a few questions come through. So Daisy and I will take it in turns to respond to your questions. Um, keep putting them through and as we're more than happy just to spend this time now answering those general questions that you have. So Daisy, the first question is, uh, if we miss a session during open week of these live webinars, uh, where can we find the recordings for these? 
Yes, great question. So if you uh, uh, miss part of a session or you want to watch it again, uh, you can fill in the connect form. So you would have clicked on a button today, most likely on our virtual open week website. And at the very top of that page, there's a button called the connect form. So if you fill in that connect form, uh, you'll be able to receive updates. And then when those recordings are made available, you'll be able to receive uh, links to those as well. So great question, fill in the connect form um, to stay in touch and get those recordings. Yeah. Great. Excellent. And I've uh, had another question come through. What is the shortest course that you can complete? So uh, at MST, uh, we have a couple of options. For those who haven't been to university before, we have an equivalent uh, undergraduate certificate, which is a six month to two year course, four units in Bible theology and ministry electives. That's the shortest course for undergraduates. And then for graduate students, those who have been to university before and have completed a degree in any discipline, we have a graduate certificate, which is the same. Uh, six months to two years can be completed full-time or part-time, four units in Bible theology and electives of your choice. How about at Eastern, Daisy? Yes, so the shortest course at Eastern is our graduate certificate in arts, similar to their graduate certificate in divinity. It's that six months, four unit course, uh, but you do need to have an undergraduate degree to do that course. Uh, then our other courses are a minimum of one year. So that's looking at some of our certificate courses, uh, the Christian ministry in theology or chaplaincy, or looking at a diploma in arts and having a specialization in that area. Great question. So uh, we've had one come up. How likely am I to get a job as a teaching graduate with Eastern? Really great, great question. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, all our education courses are all nationally accredited. So they are recognized courses and they also do cover the Victorian Institute of Teaching requirements. So upon uh, finishing a teaching degree with us, you are um, eligible and have covered all the requirements to be a teacher in Australia. So we've had uh, graduates go on to then go out to the cross-cultural mission field and work in uh, teaching overseas. We've had people work uh, in Christian schools here in Melbourne and Victoria. And it's really great if you are looking at teaching in a Christian school to have that Christian and biblical foundation that you can then take into that environment as well. Um, but we also have graduates that have gone on to teach at public schools, uh, private grammar schools. Uh, so yes, you will be able to get a job uh, if you study education with us. Yeah, great questions. Fantastic. Another question that's come through is how long is open week? Which actually is a really good question. Uh, so we will be running open week up until Saturday. So there will be webinars that you can check out each day, every day during the day and evenings. Uh, today, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, all with different topics and focuses. So have a look at both the MST and Eastern website, check out the schedule and see if you can attend as many webinars as possible just to get a really good comprehensive overview of what we offer here at MST and Eastern. So check the websites out. Thanks for your question. Another one that's come through is, should I study at Eastern or MST? Now, that is a really good question <laughs> and something that Daisy and I are really hoping that after this session here, uh, perhaps it's answered some of the questions that you have about where, which college you should study at, which is great. And you may even just want to go away, have a think about it, re-watch this session again, maybe even after checking out some of the other webinars throughout the week, the teaching spots that have different faculty speaking on different areas that will give you a little bit more clarity as well. Um, but really in the end, we really encourage you to book an appointment to chat with either myself or Daisy so that we can chat with you personally about your hopes, your plan, what the Lord's put on your heart, your giftings. And in that way, we can really cater that question to answer you specifically as well. So definitely book an appointment to chat with us today. 
Awesome. There's a question. I think I really love these kinds of questions. Can you give more examples of community events within the college? Is it MST and Eastern community combined or separate? Great question. I'm going to tackle the second half first. Yes, MST and Eastern is one community. So our whole thing, you would have seen on the slide, two colleges. So two separate colleges, but one community. So uh, we have student body events. So we have a student leadership team and they uh, have a number of different events that they'll plan throughout the year. They can be um, like board games nights. They might go out and go bowling. They have prayer and worship nights. Once we actually had um, a prayer and worship night on the roof, and a fire pit on the roof. The students did a worship and prayer time together and that was a really a lot of fun. So this kind of some of those student run events. Um, there's also um, other college events. We often have dinners all together as a college community every now and then throughout the year. Uh, we have the beginning of each year something called brunch on the lawn, which is where all our executive principals and lecturers uh, cook up a massive breakfast uh, on campus and we get to enjoy one another's company and that kind of thing. So it's kind of the social events. Uh, but then there's also opportunity to uh, participate in our outbound opportunities, which are both local and international mission, uh, short mission trips. So things maybe like um, working in Melbourne, uh, working with a team and looking what it's like to minister and share the gospel with Muslims here in Melbourne. Uh, different things, we've had groups go to Poland, uh, up to Kununurra uh, in the Indigenous community. So there's lots of great uh, mission opportunities to be a part of in the community as well. Uh, so this comes some of the examples. Um, it's, this is the time where I like to go rogue um, and share a little bit about my own experience as a student at the college as well and encourage, uh, this is my little kind of nudge to push people out of their comfort zone if they're thinking about studying or if they've started studying uh, and they're still kind of feeling a little bit shy. When I started studying uh, my bachelor degree at the college, I actually used to sit in my car and eat my lunch because I was too scared. I didn't want to talk to anyone. Uh, and now this is my job. So God works in miraculous ways, but in all seriousness, uh, the colleges are not just about information and giving you education, but really about transformation in community, in what you learn inside and outside the classroom. From my own experience, I can um, wholeheartedly say that is a really great uh, part of the community at the college. Yeah. Fantastic. Great. I think you answered that question really well. And from personal passion, Daisy, love it so my much. Favorite. My favourite. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so another question that's come through is, uh, do the online students follow the same calendar as the on-campus students? So do they follow the same semester dates? And I can answer that, yes. <laughs> so for MST anyway, Daisy might have some more insight into Eastern, but our online and on-campus students follow the same dates. Uh, each year for semester. So semester one runs approximately from February to May, June. And then semester two runs from July through to October, November. And then we also have a summer semester as well for online students only with some on-campus uh, one week intensives that uh, change each year. So that's MST. Is it similar at Eastern as well, Daisy? Yes, yeah, similar. So um, the rough same semester start and end dates, we like to um, do that as well. And we do also have summer semester. So uh, if you're wanting to, uh, if you're studying part time or you want to pick up some extra units over the summer, you can do those. They run as either online units or intensive units over the summer. Um, but everything else that Iona's mentioned is very similar uh, for Eastern as well. So 
great question. Uh, another question we could uh, cover is, is, does it cost to apply to study at the colleges? Um, it's a really good question. No, it doesn't cost anything uh, to apply to study uh, at MST or Eastern. And um, then if for whatever, whatever reason you needed to defer your application or something like that, uh, there's, no, there's no cost to do that either. Excellent. Thanks, Daisy. That's helpful to know. Um, another question that's come through, are MST courses mostly academic or are they good at preparing you for practical ministry? And this is a great question because it's something that our, not only our college, but our principal is really passionate about that students come to MST to learn more about the Bible, learn about, more about God, our faith, knowledge-wise to be more confident and have greater clarity about sharing and showing the truth uh, um, of the gospel, but also helping us to be transformed inwardly to be able to better serve others practically. And what that may look like at MST is completing an internship at your church or mission organisation, Christian organisation for credit towards your course and that's called field, practical field education placement. And that's really helping you to outwork what you're learning here at MST to be uh, better equipped for where the Lord is leading you. Other things like Daisy mentioned, the outbound options where students can go and serve a local church interstate or overseas and really practically outwork what they're learning in the classroom into a different cultural context or even just location a different church community etc to be uh help to be great at practically living out the gospel as well as growing in uh, knowledge and understanding as well so fantastic question i think we've got time baby for one more question daisy Awesome. A good uh, question that you might be able to answer that we have here is, what is Fee Health uh, and how is it different to Centrelink? Excellent question. Okay, so Fee Help is a government loan program which is very similar to the public universities hex program where you have the option to sign up if you're an Australian citizen and haven't used over, I believe it's $100,000 of fee help already, <laughs> then you can sign up for fee help and you take out a student loan where the government pays for all your course fees up to $100,000. So that's applicable for every course at MST and Eastern as well, apart from the vet level units, which Daisy mentioned before that you are required to pay for those upfront and some of the education courses which are actually under the HEX program instead of fee help um, but in that light they work very similarly as in they are a government student loan so that's fee help and when it comes to Centrelink assistance so Centrelink provide a small allowance for those students who are studying full-time and are eligible for Centrelink assistance. So I know that helped me when I was a student and decided to study full-time and do a one day a week part-time job and I was still eligible to receive a small allowance from Centrelink to support me as I was studying full-time. So that might be something that you decide to take on as well. Excellent. Okay, so I think that wraps up our time this morning. Uh, once again, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been fantastic to have you a part of our MST and Eastern Introduction to Study session. We trust that you found the session helpful and we look forward to chatting with you further. So please do not hesitate to connect with us by following the link in the chat and booking an appointment to connect with us an eye on the rest of the open week schedule and watch as many webinars as you are able to. There will also be a student meet and greet on Saturday which we encourage you to join in with if you can. For those wanting to hear more about studying with us from a student's perspective on student life at MST and Eastern. In regards for today, the next webinar in the program is due to start at 11 a.m. So just in around 15 minutes time. And that webinar will be on the importance of understanding Islam with 
our faculty member, Dr. Mark Dury. So grab a cuppa, have a quick break, and we look forward to seeing you there. Once again, thank you so much for joining us and welcome to Eastern and MST Open Week. God bless.